I've got a feeling that this address is going to become pretty famous in the world of professional wrestling, but we're here at the New Japan Dojo in Southern California. We're right down the road from the Los Angeles International Airport, and I'm here with Rocky Romero. You've got so much going on, Rock. Yeah. You are the producer of Rapungi 3K. I am. And the team is going to get those tag team titles back. Very soon. I can feel it. You are writing diss tracks now. I did. I serving notice on Hiromu and Bushi. Hiromu, Bushi, Suzuki Goon, Kanemaru, Desperado, I mean, they're all on the hit list. I basically, I murdered those kids. The, the, no you know, comeback. No comeback. Hiromu had no comeback. He actually apologized and said he added it to his, his favorites on his playlist. Well, and Spotify, you know, all that stuff. But you can get it down at uh, rockyromero.bandcamp.com. Check it out. It's on there for free. Check out where I murdered uh, L.I.J. It was pretty cool. That's right. That was pretty cool. Uh, and, and, and now... We're here uh, at the dojo today. It's Strong Style Saturday, of course, tomorrow. Right. The Strong Style Evolve. Strong Style event. Saturday. What a cool name. It's awesome, right? <laughs> um, and we've talked to fans. They're from all across. Uh, that We've met fans from the East Coast and West Coast, all points in between. It's amazing. Nice. Um, but you, of course, your roots are from the original dojo. Right. And uh, compare the two. Like, what do you think the uh, dojo experience that you went through years ago, which was your introduction to New Japan Pro Wrestling, how will that compare uh, to what you're going to be presenting here over time in this new dojo? Right, right. So uh, from what I hear, the first camp was, uh, you know, went quite well, you know, and obviously they have some great coaches in, you know, Shibata and Scorpio Sky. So, I mean, that right there is a, is a huge learning step for anybody that walks through these doors as a professional wrestler, a young professional wrestler trying to make it or trying to, you know, find their way to, to Japan or to New Japan. Uh, you know, for me, I understand what those people are feeling because I am that. I lived mm -hmm. it through the first dojo, came there with no, you know, not sure what to expect, nervous, as heck for the first eight months, really, you know? And, uh, you know, and then just being able to train with, you know, some awesome professional wrestlers like, you know, uh, Togi Makabe, you know, Antonio Noki, uh, you know, uh, Daniel Bryan, Samoa Joe, you know, we had this group and we're, you know, all these guys turned out to be, you know, they did some stuff in the business. Yeah. After, you know, so my group was, you know, that my class was, was pretty awesome. So. I think that, uh, you know, I, I hope that this place is, is the same thing, that we're able to find the, the next batch of talent, you know, that, you know, for the future of New Japan Pro Wrestling, but professional wrestling in general. Mm -hmm. And with uh, the event tomorrow, another yep. success in Long Beach, uh, another record right. sellout. Right. And word on the street is, is that probably could have sold twice as many tickets than capacity of the building. Right. Uh, probably could have ran in Staples. <laughs> probably. Um, where... Where do you kind of see all this going? Yeah. Because you have your finger on the pulse of the scene, and you know, you know what works. Uh, where do you see this going here? In whether it's Southern California, anywhere in the United States, what do you think? I think for right now, it's just you know, we're going up and up and up and up and up, and I don't see us stopping anytime soon. I think that truly, New Japan is like the coolest wrestling company on the planet, without a shadow of the doubt, and and. I think everybody kind of knows it and can see it, and they, you know, it's you want to be a part of it. I mean, you're passionate. Our fans are the most passionate fans of all time. They're so awesome, and uh, and I, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. And so I, I see, I, you know, next time maybe you will be in a bigger building, you know, a 10,000 seat building or an 8,000 seat building or something. But we'll just continue to grow, and with the support of our fans, you know, we're just growing organically and doing it, you know, step by step, and it's pretty awesome, you mm -hmm. know. And and we're not being, you know, we're not shoving anything down your throat, you know. We just want you to come along with the ride with us, you know. That's the important thing. Yeah, and and certainly it is, uh, and the fans of New Japan World. Uh, whether they speak Japanese as their native language, or English as their native language, or Spanish, or whatever language you speak in your home, uh, you're all along and, and welcome to join us. We got plenty of room. French, even French. 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 We could do that. Yep. Uh, and Spanish for Spanish. you. See. 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 Cuban Spanish different than Mexican Spanish. See. 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 And uh, so, okay. So, what are you working on now? Obviously, yeah. creating a game plan, a strategy for the big rematch coming up for right. the junior heavyweight tag well, team. Well, as I told the world, <coughs> the king of sneaky style. Ooh. 
That's is right. uh, now you know you, you've opened up Pandora's box, okay? So uh, I got some more surprises for uh, for these two teams in Lij and in uh, Suzuki. So will you be teaching lessons in sneaky style here yes. at the dojo? A special class, maybe. That's a heck of an idea. Added to the curriculum. Huh. Once a month, special Friday class. <laughs> King of Sneaky Style, Rocky Romero, comes in and shows you sneaky style. Sign up now, njpw1972.com. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Right. Uh, it's going to be a huge event, uh, sold out. It's going to be live on Access. Fans around the, the world will be able to see it live. Fans in the U.S. will be able to see it on njpwworld.com. Uh, immediately following the live broadcast on Access. Obviously, the world is kind of talking about this main event with the reuniting of the Golden Lovers against the Young Bucks. Uh, friends don't normally fight friends in professional wrestling, right, but that's right. a scenario that we have here. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm curious to see if how physical it gets, you know? I mean, obviously, it's going to be, you know, it's wrestling, it's going to be physical, but, like, where does it go? Uh, there's a lot of emotion involved in this, a lot of love, Maybe some jealousy. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a story kind of for the ages, and it's a very uh, story that's close. But one thing that I, I know as a professional wrestler is that when you do wrestle your friends, sometimes those end up being the most heated fights that you have because you guys are so close. There is so much emotion. Sometimes there's stuff that you've wanted to say to your friend for so long that you don't know how to say, and it comes out. Mm -hmm. You know, So I'm curious to see what happens. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a crazy match I'm sure the two greatest tag teams you know of our century meeting one on you know two versus two I wish I say one on one right? yeah two versus two uh, well you know what I mean by say one on one though. and uh yeah that's sneaky be, style math yes yeah, it all works four versus two and a half yeah those kind of things. but anyway yeah it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing and we will get a little taste of what's to come between Kazuchika Okada and Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah. On opposite sides of a tag team match. I'm yeah. very curious about that. You know he beat Naito, Ibushi, Sonata, <laughs> Tanahashi. He submitted all four rock to win the New Japan Cup did Zack Sabre Jr. What a badass. To He's, say the least. <laughs> he ran through untouched and Okada, he is on a level Right. Whole other level, as Gato always famously says. But does... I worry about my friend, I'm not going to lie. I the, worry does about the him. run end? Uh, coming up it, it, at Sakura Genesis? I mean, yeah. I mean, you got to think about how tired is Okada. You know? Coming off this week, I mean, the last year, he's had the, the most amazing string of title matches ever put together. It's it's scary times, I think, yeah. man, you know, and, and, and he's, he's facing a killer, a, a true killer. Definitely is. All right. Well, Rocky, thank you very much for... Oh, Jay White. Gonna, let's talk about that right Let's now. talk about okay. Jay White. Switchblade, don't you worry, man. You stay focused. You ain't got to worry about the hangman. Don't worry. Don't fall for the tricks. I've been talking to Switchblade a little bit. Really? A little sneaky, you know, because he's got a little edge to him, you know, so I give him a couple of pointers here and there about being a little sneaky, you know. So there's a thaw in the relationship. He's starting to warm up to you in the chaos locker room? I mean, say he listened, you know, and most of the time, you know, I feel like I'm just talking to a brick wall because he's kind of looking the other way. And actually, maybe he's not, he's not listening at all. But you taught him. Yeah. I mean, I said it in the room. You put it out in the universe. Put it in the universe, yeah. Maybe he's maybe he's going to absorb it. I Page is so. on a roll. Right. He's beaten a, him. Right. He's dropped him a couple of you different times. Heard, you haven't heard about it because everybody's focusing on the uh, yes. Kenny Cody nonsense, you know? And Bullet Club is in shambles, you know? But, yeah, but Kate, Page is on a roll. Last July, of course, we crowned the first U.S. champion here in Long Beach. Will the title change hands? For the second time in its title history, this time will Hangman Page bring gold to Bullet Club or will Switchblade Jay White hang on to the title? We'll find out tomorrow. That's that's how he does it. That's, a, that's Switchblade style. Different. All right. For Rocky Romero, I'm Kevin Kelly. We're here at the uh, New Japan Dojo, Southern California. It's Strong Style Saturday, and thanks for joining us.